Hello everyone, today I'm going to make a very simple cake, a very old fashioned cake. It's been around for years. Only thing I'm making a very small one this time, a small cake for a small family. So I'm just putting some butter on the sides. And what I have here is about half a cup of melted butter. Okay. And to that, I will add about slightly more than half a cup brown sugar. Hari ini kita akan buat satu kek kecil iaitu pineapple upside down. Tapi dalam bahasa Malaysia pelik pula kalau saya translate kek nenas terbalik. <laughs> Di sini ada setengah cawan mentega yang telah dicairkan. Lepas tu saya masukkan lebih sikit gula perang ya. Lepas tu sapu macam ni saja. Saya juga on ya. Api dekat oven Saya taruh 170 degree celsius lah So sementara dia dipanaskan Saya juga akan masukkan ini ke dalam tu sekejap Supaya dia cair sikit What I did just now was I took a 20 cm cake pan A very small cake pan And I've added in half a cup of melted butter And slightly more than half a cup of light brown sugar And I've put it in, I mixed it a bit and put it in the oven While we get our cake batter ready Okay, for the up, pineapple upside down I've got some uh, pineapple rings here We'll save the juice And I've got some caster sugar Some cherries, red cherries or green cherries Or a mix, whatever you like I've got baking powder Two eggs and and a bit of uh, pineapple essence and self-raising flour and also some unsalted butter I'll tell you how much I'm using as I go on but we'll also be adding a bit of salt because this is unsalted butter okay while the mixture is in the oven what I'm going to do is I'm going to take self-raising flour one and three quarter cup and seed it this is self-raising flour, but even though it's self-raising flour, I am going to add in a flat teaspoon of this one and three quarter, a flat teaspoon of baking powder and a bit of a flat teaspoon of normal baking powder and a pinch of salt. I'm just going to sieve it now. Saya masukkan satu cawan dan tiga per empat cawan tepung naik sendiri ya. That means one and three quarter cups of self-raising flour and a flat teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. Okay, just get this ready. Setelah cairkan gula dengan butter ya. Dan sekarang Saya akan susun nenas-nenas yang dalam tin ya. I'm now going to arrange the pineapples in the tin while you retain the liquid. Here I bought a very small pineapple can. Sometimes the pineapples are quite big then you have to adjust it accordingly. So you pakai pineapple slice yang agak kecil ya. Tapi okay untuk um, bekas baking ni. Ni cuma 20 cm ya. Dan sekarang kita ambil cherry Cherry apa-apa warna yang kamu suka lah Kadang-kadang orang campur-campur I'm putting the cherries in the center And I will also put some Maybe just inside here Or maybe in the outer side Up to you Okay, once this is done You just get rid of it and uh, put it aside and now we have to cream the butter and sugar and add in the eggs and the flour it's being a very small cake i'm not going to use my electric mixer i'm just going to use my hands and a whisk okay sekarang saya akan masukkan butter ya sebanyak setengah butter cair ya saya hak panaskan dalam microwave tadi dan kita putarkan gula dengan butter cair I've melted half a cup of butter in the microwave and we will now add the sugar, normal granulated sugar or caster sugar, the fine granulated sugar. Yeah? I think I won't put that much of sugar. This is three quarter but I think I won't put that much. 
because we've got also some sugar at the bottom. Then yeah, I'm just retaining a little bit behind. I'll whisk these two up. Remember the oven is still on warm at 170 degrees Celsius. You have to test and see if the butter is still very hot. Don't add the eggs in yet. Now I would add in one egg at a time and whisk it up. It's an easy cake to make. Whisk this and what you do now is a spoon over this seed flour, reserve raisin flour, baking powder and pinch of salt into the mixture here and just mix it up, fold it up, huh? fold it in, don't cream it anymore, just fold it in. Do the number 8 method when you fold it. Just fold in the flour, don't mix it. Do the number 8 and mix in the flour. By creaming it, you would get rid of the air pockets that's forming in there. in a little bit of essence and because it's a small cake just add in about half a cap because this has got a very strong smell again the number eight method if you find that it's a bit too uh, stiff just add in a bit of the pineapple juice from the can if you want a huge cake you can make double the amount in a bigger cake pan we are done and what you do now is get your tray scoop every last bit in there Put it in the oven at 170 for what, 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, but at 170 degrees Celsius. Let it sit in the oven for about 20 minutes to 25 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. Okay, ni bukan cake yang macam tinggi ya. Dia macam tinggi dia paling banyak 2 inci lah. Memang macam tu cake ni, especially kalau kita buat dengan pan kecil macam ni kan. Nanti suka buat yang kecil-kecil macam ni. Makan habis. Tak over makan ya. Lepas cake tu keluar dari oven, kita tinggalkan untuk macam 5 minit dah. Lepas tu baru terbalikkan. And the cake is out of the oven. Leave it for 5 minutes before turning it over. Okay, it's done. Okay. Ni lah cake dan nasta balik. <laughs> okay. Dan uh, kalau ada macam gula-gula yang tertinggal dekat sini, kita boleh kaut-kaut dan letak dan tampal-tampal mana yang botak sikit. After removing the cake, if you find some bold patches here and there, just scrape out the caramel and just fill up the gaps. Okay, enjoy. This is a cake that you can make. All ingredients for this recipe will be given at the bottom of the video and I'll also taste and tell you how sweet it is. If you wish to reduce the sugar, what you can do is do not reduce the caramel but reduce the content of the cake because you will need the caramel. Don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel if you have never done it before and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.